Hey friends, I am so glad you're here today. If you are looking for a super motivating clean with me as well as some practical tips on how to reduce the overwhelm in your house if your house is cluttered and messy, you have come to the right spot. If you're new here, my name is Lynn White. I am a mom of six focusing on cleaning, decluttering and organizing on this channel. So I am so glad you're here. We are gonna get so much done. Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough in the living room because I know I wanna focus on the kitchen. I absolutely cannot stand when I clean the kitchen and walk back throughout the house and find cups and bowls and whatever. So just a quick little walkthrough, take any of the dishes that need to go into the kitchen with you. So when you start cleaning, you are doing all of the dishes and there are no surprises afterwards. I don't know about you guys, but that is a big pet peeve of mine and I feel very discouraged when that happens. Oftentimes I just wanna kinda of throw my hands in the air and give up, I'm just being completely transparent. Okay, so the next tip, you are just gonna gather all of the trash in the kitchen and you are gonna throw it away. I also had recycling on the countertop, so I've got this box here and I'm just gonna fill it up with the things that need to go in the recycling bin. Also, I had some groceries come, so I'm gonna put all of the groceries that need to go away, I'm gonna put them in their designated spot. Now, if you're like me and you get distracted very easily, I want to encourage you that if you have things on your countertop that do not belong there, just make a pile. Like I put my recycling items in front of my garage door. And I do that because if I go out into my garage, I don't know what I'm gonna find and I'll probably start another project out there and then I'll have 10 unfinished projects in my house. So that is another tip. When you are cleaning your kitchen and you find things in there that don't belong in the kitchen, don't put them in their rightful room just yet. Make piles. And then when you're done with your kitchen and you're completely content with the way it looks and you're ready to move on, then you can do so. So I got this Amazon order and a part of cleaning off my countertops is just tackling this real quick because obviously I had a grocery order come in and I need to put the stuff in here. So I'm going to fill up these salt and pepper containers. You'll see that the salt container actually broke, which I was really bummed about, but I am going to fill these up because I'm cleaning off my counter and this need to be done, needed to be done. And I was so excited about these. Having a little space in your kitchen or actually throughout your house, but since we're in the kitchen, this is what we'll talk about now. Having a little designated spot that brings you joy and makes you happy really makes a huge, huge difference. So I've got this little, little set here. I've got the tray from Walmart, the container with the wooden spoons from Hobby Lobby, um, these oil containers from Amazon and then the salt and pepper containers are from Amazon. My kids actually broke my automatic salt and pepper containers. So I just decided to get these and I really, really like them. The little thing there that you smash things, that's from, I believe, Marshalls or somewhere like that. But having a little space in your, in your area, having a little space that you love it really makes all the difference. It brings you joy and it makes you excited to start working in that space. And I love this right here. It makes me excited to cook. So take a little extra time to have a little area, a little vignette here that brings you joy because it really makes a huge impact. Okay, so we are gonna start putting some dishes in the dishwasher. So if you have a dishwasher, I really recommend rinse your dishes out right away after you use them. Teach your family members to do, to do the same and put your items in the dishwasher. That way the sink doesn't get full of dishes the kitchen feel cluttered it keeps the kitchen from smelling fresh and I find that when the sink is empty we're more likely to clean up after ourselves I just that's my personal experience now if you do not have a dishwasher I encourage you to get a drying rack or a drying mat next to your sink and go ahead and rinse and wash your items your dishes right away again going ahead and taking the initiative and doing this first and foremost and not letting it sit in your sink it really does have a chain reaction effect and your family members should usually follow suit. If they don't right away, it might be a little bit of a learning and training moment for our family just to say, hey, we're going to keep the dishes out of the sink. Let's just go ahead and put them on the drying rack or put them in the dishwasher.
So I had some of my items here that I wanted to reorganize. I have not been on top of my organizing. It, it just kind of comes and goes, especially with my mental health, with the postpartum anxiety and depression. You just, you just don't know. So I'm taking this opportunity to organize this little space here. You'll see in just a minute, Emma is right under the camera stand and you'll see me trying to save my camera before she makes it fall over. No, 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 baby, be, be, be careful. Careful, boogie, boogie. Okay, so I saved the camera and I'm putting all these items in here and I have mentioned to you guys, it's not about, you know, quote unquote being extra. It's about just organizing your items so they are easy to get to. And that is why we want to stay on top of our decluttering, stay on top of our cleaning, and we want to organize our spaces. So I also mentioned to you guys, and if you've been here for a while, you know that I have struggled with postpartum anxiety and depression. And one of the things that has just been so triggering for me is clutter. I cannot and just, I just will not and cannot and will not deal with it anymore. I can't. It affects me so incredibly negatively. So I have been going throughout the house and getting rid of so much stuff. And that was another reason why I wanted to make a video like this because if you struggle and clutter and things that aren't in order and just a messy house can be so, so triggering for a multitude of reasons. So in today's video, I'm trying to teach you guys some of the things that have been helping me manage my stress by keeping my house clutter-free, organized, and clean. Hey friend, if you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's totally free. It just lets you know when I upload new content, hit the notification bell, and it will actually notify you when a new video is live. Also go ahead and like this video. It just lets me know you want to see more content like this. Now we need to clean the counters. We cleaned those two on this side. Now we need to do the big island. Because there are so many items on the island that don't belong here, we are gonna take all these items and we, Emma's underneath, we are gonna put them in the living room. We are just moving it from one space to the next because the living room is the next room we're gonna focus on. By doing this simple little trick, you're basically hacking your brain to stay on task. You do not wanna go into the other rooms. So I'm gonna pull everything in here and I'm gonna put it on that entryway table. Then the kitchen will be completely done and then I will move on into my next room. Okay, so my countertops are a catch-all just like crazy. So everything comes in here and just sits. It just comes to here and it just makes a home. So like I had mentioned, everything's going to go on the sofa table and then I will put it where it needs to go when I am completely done with the one room. And that's the kitchen we're focusing on now. So once I get to this point to where I'm cleaning off the countertops, the kitchen feels so good and it's so open. And let me tell you something, now's the time where I'm getting motivated to do more. But I wanna give you a little bit of, like a snippet of something that I have learned from Mel Robbins, whom I love so much. She says, motivation is crap and you cannot depend on it. It doesn't come whenever you want it. But this is something from somebody else, not Mel Robbins, I can't remember the source, but it's not about motivation, it's about momentum. That means you have to just get started. So this area is often neglected because honestly, I just don't pay attention to it really. So once I started feeling really good, and again, it's not about the motivation, it's the momentum, but it does definitely feel good when that motivation hits in. You just can't rely on it. It definitely works, but you can't rely on it. 
But since I pushed myself and I started getting moving and the kitchen is done, now I see this area here. Let me know if you guys are like me. When you start cleaning, you start seeing things that you have been overlooking for so long. And I don't know what it is. And I don't know if it's just me. But I feel like I can step over the same thing. I can see the same stain on the floor, the same smear on the wall, the same puzzle game that has been out for Lord knows how long. But when I start cleaning and I start getting into that flow, boy, I tell you, I feel like I am hyper-focused and I can see everything that is out of place. Okay, the kitchen and dining room is completely done. So I'm going to tackle the items that we have placed on the sofa table. Now, I'm just gonna put them in where they go. I am not gonna put them in their exact place. I'm literally gonna just drop them in there. Like some of these items are gonna go into Emma's room. I'm gonna put it on the changing table. Uh, some of the items go in the laundry room. I'm just gonna place it on the wash machine. I am not going to get very precise because I don't wanna stay in those rooms too long because I want to tackle the living room. And I already know, we already know, this is how we have to do it. it right yeah, sure. So while in the living room now, everything's where it needs to go. We're gonna just pick up any of the trash on the floor because Hazel had a heyday with one of the little rolls here, put any of the diapers and the uh, garbage can, of course. Gonna fluff out the pillows, fold the blankets, and this makes a big difference. Let me tell you, folding your blankets and just fluffing your pillows can really make a huge statement in your living room. I got some of these pillowcases from Amazon. That's where I will usually purchase them. Didn't really look good or what I had expected, so I'll put them in my room. I'm gonna put my blankets in these baskets in the sofa table, and then I'm gonna also declutter the front of the refrigerator because once the kitchen was clean, I felt like this just looked really cluttered. And so this is another really, really good way to just make the kitchen feel better. So just take all of your magnets, all of your pictures, whatnot, that are on the front of the refrigerator and just place it on the side. It makes the kitchen feel so much cleaner. I am just using my regular old um, e-cloth for the stainless steel. Really do like it. I like it better than any of the uh, sprays that I've used and I'm again trying to reduce the clutter in the house don't need all those cleaning supplies So this has been working great. Let me know if you guys can recommend anything But this so far is so good and it really does help the kitchen just feel cohesive and clean Now we are in the living room and I am gonna start decluttering some of Emma's toys. I have noticed when I am cleaning up um, after her throughout the day that there are so many things here that she doesn't need. But I am an autopilot and I just throw everything in the little bin. But today I'm going to just take a couple of minutes. It doesn't take long at all. And I'm just gonna get rid of the things that she doesn't need. First thing I'm gonna start with just getting rid of broken things, things that she doesn't ever play with and I'm not going to feel guilty about any of the things I get rid of even if they're gifts or I've spent money on it. So I want to encourage you guys to declutter one thing today. Get a box like I'm getting here like I've got here and just get rid of anything that you don't need in your home. If you do this like I had mentioned earlier about momentum it really does set the tone and you can go through more and more spots in the house. I'm going to clear off the mantle as I was cleaning up the kitchen. If you remember, I put everything on the entryway table. Well, I also put some things on the mantle and I'm gonna put those things in their rightful spot. Now, I'm not gonna put them exactly where they go. I'm just gonna plant them I'm just gonna place them in their room and those that actually will go into my room. Now I'm gonna vacuum the rug very, very quickly. I did vacuum the kitchen. I did not come into the living room. I wanted to keep 
focused in that one area. And although may, you may think, well, just go ahead and vacuum the whole space. No, the point is, is just these little tips and tricks, these little hacks that keep you focused on one thing at a time, especially if you struggle with getting distracted very easily. So I already vacuumed the kitchen and now I'm going to vacuum the living room real quick. If you do these little things, I'm telling you, it will also prevent the house from getting super messy. If you just have the vacuum here and just run through the house real quick, you know, after breakfast, after lunch, I'm telling you, it just sets the tone and it keeps your house from getting too out of control messy. I feel like because we allow it to just keep building up and building up, then that's when it takes us hours and hours to clean the house. But little tidbits throughout the day really do make huge impacts. Now, if you have a lot of things that just need to be stored away that aren't always that beautiful to look at baskets are my best friend I actually got that basket there for four dollars at the hospice thrift store I'm taking these clothes and I'm gonna place them in my bedroom I'm gonna put them smack dab on top of my bed so I have to take care of them now I'm gonna put the pillows in the uh, chairs here and I'm just gonna bring this space together it feels really good and again like I had mentioned with the little spaces in the kitchen it just makes the makes it feel cozy but not cluttered that is key not cluttered and it also is a warm wonderful place to come down come into and when you have a nice place set up like this you are less likely to clutter it up I'm going to give you a very quick overview of what the living room looks like. You saw me. I did not cut a lot of this out. I didn't edit a lot of it out. It didn't take me long at all, but it's because I've been staying on top of it and I want to encourage you guys to do the same. I am also filming a living room makeover video, so I'm just kind of giving you a sneak peek of what it's going to look like. And that's going to be on my other channel that's going to be up this week so everything is put in its place i've got some beautiful books here i've been trying to incorporate more books into my home so i can stay off of my phone my phone is such a distraction for me and i need it to stay away i've actually put a limit on all of my apps so they shut down and i can't even use them it is another day and we are in the bedroom now. I am going to finish making the bed. Chris actually put the sheets on the bed for me, which if you can get a partner to help you do these things, it really does help. Of course, even older kids, give them a job. Um, if you don't have money to pay them, like I don't pay my kids money to help me. Um, but if you can't, you can go get ice cream and do something fun like that you don't always have to pay them um, just these special little things that kind of give them a little bit of initiative to help out um, but yeah I had the sheets all clean I recommend you guys clean your sheets at least once a week and I'm gonna start making the bed I've talked about it before it's considered like a starter task or a gateway task the kitchen for me and my master bedroom is such a huge gateway task because when I start those I'm telling you it just sets the momentum and then I can keep going throughout the house but again this is another day so the bed is made and I'm actually gonna show you how I fold my fitted sheets I did not know how to fold a fitted sheet and I'm 40 years old and I am just really learning. So I'm going to show you step by step how to do this. If you see here, I don't have it sped up. I've just kind of flipped the corners inside themselves and then I bring the ends together and it's really hard to explain. So I'm just going to stop talking and I'm going to let you watch. These are actually some sheets that I purchased for the kiddos. So I want to put them in the pillowcase so it makes it easy for them to just grab. Um, 
Our kids are wonderful, amazing human beings, but they do not care, usually, at least mine don't, about organization and keeping things clean and, and tidy as much as I do. So I try to just take the extra step to make it easy for them. And so I'm gonna put their sheets in this pillowcase. One of my subscribers actually um, suggested this and it is great and it helps keep the linen closet super tidy. I've actually need to clean out the linen closet. If you saw my last video, it was a disaster, but that'll be in my next video. I just wanted to focus this video on just how to keep your house nice and tidy without it getting too messy also going through the house and decluttering as much as you possibly can but without it being like this huge monumental task that's the thing if we can just tackle little things every day we won't have these huge monumental you know our extensive task so I've got this basket here I've talked about these baskets before each one of my kids have one I have one they're from Walmart. They're about three or four dollars now. Super, super amazing. And I will just throw all of their clothes in here after I wash and dry them. And then I will take them into their room and they will usually put them away. Now for Chris, I like to do that for him every so often because he's such a hard worker and he does it for me as well. These baskets are amazing. They stack into each other and they're just really an awesome thing to do and it helps your kids stay on task. I have got my desk in here. Actually, Isabella I was telling her how I needed a space for just me and she encouraged me to take this desk actually she encouraged me by picking the desk up and bring it in bringing it into my bedroom and so now that it's here she's trying to give me a spot so I can go and work because I've been doing YouTube five years and I don't have an office I don't have anything I just work wherever I can but I needed to clean this area out because this has been at Chris's space so I've got these containers here that I got from Amazon. I've showed you this probably almost a year ago. I got a huge pack of them. I think it was 38 or $40. Or actually, it might have been less in like 40 pieces of these uh, little plastic bins. And then I have these pouches here that I really love because they come in different sizes and you can use this for a multitude of things. So I'm going to use the items that I have and I'm going to start organizing this space. I've got one side that I'm going to have for Chris's items and another side for mine. Chris has asked for his own spot every morning to go do his devotionals and because I tend to let things get cluttered up and just start stacking things on, stop, on top of things like this desk that's been in the uh, hallway next to the laundry room, I have just let it get out of control and I'm just being honest. So my whole goal in this time in my life this season is just to get things uncluttered because it is affecting my mental health so much. So I'm making some really just functional spaces here work for us. That one side was for Chris. I'm going to have his Bibles and his books that he uses every single day in the center. And then the right side little drawer will be for me. After going through more and more organizing and decluttering in this area here, I'm going to go ahead and take um, his pens out of this little plastic container and put it in this pouch because I realized I needed one of them too and I didn't have any more. So that's what I did. And if you guys are decluttering and you are organizing and things don't, you know, stay the way you started it, that's okay. Sometimes you've got to move things around. Just kind of go with the flow. Let things happen. Don't get too worked up over it. I'm going to spray this chair with an antibacterial sanitizing spray because the cat and dogs did get on it. And then I've got these two boxes here that I got from Home Goods. I love using box boxes and baskets and whatnot for functional items, but these are really pretty. So you would never know. I've got my ugly um, camera and stands, uh, SD cards, cords, whatever in here. And that's another little trick you can find these at the hospice thrift store any goodwill even online really affordable on amazon 
You can even use letter boxes. You can get creative. You can even put like some contact paper on the outside to make them beautiful. But having these boxes hide some really unsightly things on my desk and that way it doesn't look so cluttered, but I've gotta have these things here so they're easy to get to. Then I'm gonna put a picture here that just makes my heart so happy. This is baby Liam and this space is really coming together. It makes me want to work. It makes me feel creative. On my channel, I hope that you feel like you can be the best version of yourself because that is ultimately my goal here. I say it so many times, but come as you are. And when you are here, you're family. And I want you to be the best version of yourself. So I hope that I am motivating you to get up and clean these spaces, declutter and organize because it will make you feel better about your home and about yourself. You'll feel accomplished and you'll just feel really good and proud of yourself. Not of us, not all of us have perfect days, but we have to just make the days the best we possibly can do especially if you're struggling i just want you to know that i'm struggling with you and i love you i hope you enjoyed this style video i hope it gave you some tips and tricks on how to make your space more functional but also staying on top of things so it stays clean and tidy i love you all so much and thank you for being here i'll see you in the next one